Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Tyree, are they here? I flew to Atlanta on a brand new airline. Let me tell you about it. It was the best time I ever had. Brand new airline called the NBA, National Black Airline. <laughs> Wonderful time it was, because everybody on the plane was black. The pilot, the flight attendants, and all the passengers. We only go to certain cities. <laughs> and no matter where you're going, you got to lay over in Detroit. But they're honest with you on this airline. Nothing pretentious about it. Soon as the door closed, this big fat woman came on the PA. She said, all right, y'all, sit down. We fit the back up. She said, my name is Keisha, and the pilot's name is Cool Papa. He the one up front with the hat on backwards. Now, in this flight, we ain't got a whole lot of safety tips. Because if this plane starts falling out the sky, ain't no safety tip gonna help you. That seat cushion don't float. You can just put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. For lunch, listen up. For lunch, we got fried chicken. Now, I know you're happy. But I don't want nobody throwing bones in the eye. Y'all be sucking on them bones and just tossing them. That's bullshit. I got to walk up and down the damn aisle. Right. For dessert, we got sweet potato pie and Captain Crunch. You want anything to drink? We got gin and Kool-Aid. The movie is Shaft. That's just what you get here. Cost 35 cents, I want exact change. <laughs> I don't want you kids with them initials carved in your head, turn up them stereos and dancing until Cool Papa turn off the seatbelt sign. <laughs> it was wonderful because every time she say something, a plane full of black people would stand up in unison and go, Yes! Got our own flight. <laughs> Fuck United. <laughs> saw something today made me happy, brought a smile to my face. I saw a Japanese bum. <laughs> I said, there is a God. Look at this son bitch. Get a job, you asshole. <laughs> Got a little pissed off today. Let me tell you what happened. You let me know if I was out of line. I was riding down your, your freeway here. I'm doing about 80 mile an hour. But I get mad because in the next lane, there's some woman going about 80. She looked over me, reached over, and locked her door. Eighty miles an hour. <laughs> Did my good deed for the day. Caught a handicapped guy parking in one of our spots and I kicked his ass. <laughs> yeah, he tried to get away in that wheelchair, you son of a... <laughs> Can't find a place to park now and you're bringing your cripple ass up in here. I, I rolled him three blocks, too. He burned up his hands trying to stop the damn thing. Has <laughs> anybody here besides me ever gone to bed so drunk when you wake up in the morning you're surprised you're still alive? So drunk, you're slipping your clothes on the floor. You get up, you got rug prints in your face and a pack of cigarettes in every pocket. 
and you don't even smoke. Or I get all this shit. I'm a thief too. It happens to me a lot. That's why I started carrying this hanger. I used to get drunk and lose my keys. Now I just lock them in the fucking car. And you know when you get shit-faced like that and you get home, what's the first thing on your mind? Second thing on your mind. People are a little slow to respond, so I'll drop it to number two. Hell, a tuna sandwich would take care of both problems, huh? And I'm a little hungry, too, so I ate a great big old three-pound brick of Velveeta cheese. You know when you're drunk, you don't use silverware. I'm leaning over the sink, shoving that shit in. I had cheese up on my eyebrows. And I've been feeling a little sluggish ever since. Cheese don't move quite like it should. 